What is up guys, today I'm bringing you a review of the KingPad K70. This is a 7 inch tablet. Now before you get started, I'm going to mention this is a $49 tablet right now on Amazon. I will be links down below. You guys can go check that out. This is the new 2015 model by Tablet Express. So this runs Android 4.4 KitKat. It's got 8 gigs. So grab some food, kick back, and get ready to watch this video as I take an in-depth look into this tablet. Now as always, I like to start my reviews by talking about what is included in the box. Right now you're looking at everything that is included. User manual, which is pretty in-depth, which is always good when it comes to tablets. We get a micro USB. This is to charge up the tablet itself. And they also include a wall charger, which is great that you have options. For me, I'm not going to be traveling around with a wall charger. I'd rather just use a micro USB to charge up. So we have the tablet itself, and then as you see, we have a case on this tablet. I'll talk about the case a little further in my review. So then we have the box the tablet comes in. You can see on the bottom we have a little bit of features. Just letting you know, it's a quad-core, 7-inch tablet. It's got Android OS, Wi-Fi, and dual camera. On the back we have a diagram, as well as some specs in different languages. So here's the start of the show, just talking about this tablet a little bit. We have a 1024 by 600 HD resolution. It also includes Bluetooth 4.0. It has a quad core of 1.3 gigahertz. And as I mentioned before, this is a 7 inch tablet. The RAM includes 512 megabytes and the storage is 8 gigabytes, which it can go up to a 32 gigabyte with a TF card. It also includes a front facing camera as well as a back facing camera. So now we're going to take a look at the tablet itself. So this tablet can be held either vertical position or horizontal. So in holding the tablet in horizontal position with the camera facing up, on the right hand side we have the volume rockers. We have a TF card slash micro SD card. We have the headphone jack. We have the sleep slash power on button. We have the charger port to charge up the tablet. And then we have an HDMI hookup as well as the microphone. And then we have a camera on the back. And the speakers are located right there. I'm not talking about the specs of this tablet. You want to see this thing in action. So right now we're going to take a look at some videos, some apps. We're going to see what they look like to play. We're going to take a good look into this tablet so you guys can make a decision on whether or not this is a purchase for you. So right now we're going to be installing SimCity Build It. I have a timer right next to me, so we're going to see how long it takes. This is a 97.86 megabyte app. So install this app took about under a minute. It actually came out at 39 seconds, which is great timing. So now we're going to go ahead and open up the app. Just to show you how responsive the tablet is, we're just going to give this a little demo. So we'll quickly run down some controls. We have the volume control right here, as well as the volume control to raise it up. We have a back button, a home button, a button that will allow you to do multitasking. So right now we're on my YouTube channel. We're going to watch a video to give you guys an idea of the, the sound quality and then the video quality. And just for a reminder, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reviews. So right there you just got to see the sound quality and the video quality. 
So for me, when I'm using this tablet, I prefer to use headphones only because the sound quality is not the best. I do prefer a good, crisp quality sound, so that's why I use headphones. So right now we're doing a little bit of shopping on Amazon, just checking out what today's deals are. So this is really to show you what it looks like with the web browsing. As you can see, I can pinch in to zoom in and zoom out. Now I'm going to test the camera quality. I'm going to go take some pictures outside and I will get back to you guys. So I got outside to take some pictures. This is with the back facing camera. This was with the front facing camera. The camera quality was not the best. This tablet's really not meant for taking pictures. If you had to take a picture, you could. So now let's talk about what I think about this tablet. This is a PU leather case for any Dragon Touch A113, Q88, Y88, Z. Essentially, this case is going to protect your tablet. It's got a magnetic fitting that's going to hold on to. So they do offer a variety of colors, blue, green, black, purple, and red. So the case is $10 on Amazon. I'll also leave the links down below for that. There's a cutout for both camera holes, as well as the speakers. Now for me, this is a great tablet because of the price. It's $49 on Amazon right now, which you guys can check out. I'll leave the links down below. But the reason why I say this is a great tablet for the price because of how easy it is to use. This is a very clean cut Android 4.4. Not only that is clean cut, it's very easy to use. It's very straightforward. You can use it to surf the web, watch videos, whatever you need to use. This is great for that. So you really can't beat the price of the tablet. For $49, this tablet can offer a lot. So the tablet's also very kid friendly. Any parents out there want to get their kids a tablet, you can definitely look into this one because they do offer a lot of kid friendly apps that you don't have to worry about, like the YouTube for kids they just came out with Google. The only con for me was the sound quality, which should be fixed with headphones. Now, the screen quality is not the best for today, but I'm also used to using iPads a lot. If you are interested, I will leave links down below. As always, I will catch you guys later. Peace. And don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe.